Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we continued our trek through Valak Mountain and came down to the lower level past a really fun icy slide. This time, we are at the very base of the tower that Alvis wanted us to see, so I see no better course of action than to just run right into said tower and see what Alvis wanted to tell us. We've discovered the sealed tower upon going inside, but the thing that I don't get is that you discover that, and then you discover the Herrick Chapel, and it's worth like twice as much experience. Why have two locations worth discovering so close together? I don't know. Either way, door up ahead. Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis? This the place you meant? Hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. And we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone. I say, sounds jolly good to go looking for a geezer. Let's go find the old geezer, Ebenezer, and invite him over for tea time over some biscuits and crumpets with marmalade. I am so sorry to all of my European viewers. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, um, okay. In all seriousness, I've never heard that pronunciation anywhere outside of, well, this game. <laughs> Every time I hear it, I can't help but chuckle whenever they say geezer. <laughs> I should not find it as funny as I do. I get it, it's just a different pronunciation of a, of a word, but... <laughs> I don't know, it's just like what a geezer actually means and what they're trying to say and just... You see the subtitles and you're expecting the word geyser and then just geezer. <laughs> I don't know, anyway. <laughs> the geezer <laughs> that we're supposed to find is right over this way, you can see it right there. And we had that knob on telling us that we should um, take a dip in a hot spring. Sounds like a good idea, so let's do that before we head into the cave. Um, now that we're into the geese, I can't do this, guys, sir. So, that really awesome ice slide was our way down to the lower level. What's our way back up to the upper level? Well, it's extreme! Yeah, it shoots you into the sky like as high as the top of that tower. I don't know what it is with Valg Mountain and such extreme methods of getting around, but... You know, I like it. It's really memorable. <laughs> So, let's plop right down into this, presumably, another hot spring, and there are some item orbs in a forest, and Shulk's taking wild service, there we go. Now, the reason- large handcuffs, uh, kinky. Uh, I kinda wanna see what this other one is then, emerald snow, Oh, okay. Heard of donate yellow snow, but green snow? Sounds kinda like, delicious, like a snow cone. <laughs> uh, anyway. Now, what's really cool is that we've actually come full circle. The Bagnar Snowfield, right near the hollow bone that we were at last time, is just down this pathway, as you can see on the map that I put in the corner. But there is an op on it. He's dead! Yet he somehow has a quest for us. Oh no, he's not dead. Urgh. My tummy's so empty, it's so cold, I'm gonna turn into ice. I wanna eat something warm. Sounds like you got a problem. Hero Pond can fix any problem! What, what? You bring some food for me. Thank you! If I die here, I know can take information back to others. Bring food to warm me up. I want Hawks Flints, Antol Fire Pouches, and Ferrest Aged Ale. Don't take too long. I thought Nopon didn't really feel the cold. But if hungry, I know can resist cold. I want to go back to Warm Cave with my friends. We have the freezing Nopon. We get heavy leggings and quite a lot of money for this. Man, for being a dying Nopon, he sure has a lot of money. Uh, thank God we came along and not somebody that would mug him. <laughs> so he's telling to hurry back, and uh, yeah, we're all done here. Uh, well, not all done here, though, but we have the Antol fire patches from those Ant Antols that we were hunting last time, so all that's good. Uh, the reason why I wanted to grab this here is because the items that we need are actually right on the beaten path of where we're going anyway. So, you know, I'm planning ahead, I'm doing that kind of stuff. Uh, how about we come to the ledge here, and... Even knowing that there was warm water down there that I would land in, I probably could not make this jump, seriously. How these guys are able to make that kind of a jump, I don't know. It's just... There we go! Oh, what? How they make the jump? They don't. They die. 
Okay, back over by Jacked Geyser. Oh my god, I... You know that one word really choked me up when it's taking me this long to acknowledge the fact that Alvis is being really frigging mysterious by implying that he's been here before? Hopefully you can understand just the simple pleasure of, you know, looking at the subtitles, expecting one pronunciation, and getting one that's completely different that you've never heard before, and having it mean a word that just means old person. <laughs> anyway, uh, the cave that we needed to look for is right here, and just when you thought you wouldn't see much use of color in the daytime in Valak Mountain, we have the Lava Cave. Yeah, kind of strange that we'd have this kind of place, but hey, I guess it would explain volcanic acti- I guess, um, volcanic activity would explain why everything is so warm here. Now, uh, last time I said that Dunban learned a new art, and I never showed it off because we didn't do any more fighting for the rest of the video. I'd like to do that right about now, so how about I switch over to his new arts? Or, new art, rather. There we go, all good. We go in here, we have some Porky Hoxes. These drop one of the items that we need. Now we start a fight with them. What's going on with Dunban's combo? Starting this off? I love doing this just so much. Wait a minute, are we gonna... Uh, okay, good, they fought us, okay. Dunban's new art is an aura. Jaws of Death. Uh, this doesn't really help me much in this fight, but basically what it does is, it's Ryan's last stand. If Dunban is about to be incapacitated, you want to use this because it will it will resurrect him instantly with a third of his health without you needing to, uh, you know, spend any of your party gauge or anything like that. Um, but, the really cool thing is, in the way that it differs from Ryan's last stand, is that it will fill one half of Dunban's talent gauge in the process. Plus, while it's in effect, if you don't die, it's still worth using because it multiplies your physical art damage by one and a half times. Really useful. Oh, pff, I didn't hear Ricky going like, Ricky, feel afraid there like he did before. I heard that one again. Uh, got a Hawk's Flint there. Got a Refined Horn. Please tell me I get another Hawk's Flint. Please. I don't think I will. No, I did not. That would have been so cool if I could have gotten in the span of just one fight. We have a Fire Ether Crystal Deposit here. I would not put any other type of Ether Crystal. Well, I don't know. Maybe getting another one would be kind of fun. Oh, wait. I got experience randomly. Does that mean I got an achievement? Come on. Scroll over to it. There we go, medium rare. I swore I got that achievement already, but maybe not. It's kind of odd. There's a lot of you can nebulas. Uh, apparently they are part of some kind of political campaign or something like that. It's all I got, really. But in all seriousness, things are getting a lot more colorful as we go down the lava cave. And sure enough, we get our first hint of lava. Now, the lava cave is a little bit weird. Um, got more large handcuffs. I wanted to mention that there are some items on the Collectopedia that seem to- Whoa! Uh, only appear when you're here. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. I'm kind of sad this Notoferis noticed me. I was hoping that I'd be high enough level that they would just ignore me, because they kind of run through this place and they can be really obnoxious to deal with at times. So yeah, uh, I'll just leave Dunban's talent art and end this quickly. Choose to fight! Blossom Dance! Ah, I didn't end the fight on that. That would have been so cool. Just good job, everyone. <laughs> Get that. Got a refined horn from Ricky's Yoink. And if I am lucky, please. No, didn't get another refined horn. What is it with every enemy in this place dropping that? Uh, those will indeed drop the Ferris Ale that we need for the freezing Nopon. So that's good. Again, very convenient, just like I said. Got more fire crystals. And I guess I'm just going to find another Ferris and see if I can kill it. Um... Come on, I know that there's more. Oh, Porky Hoxes, uh, even better. Let's take these out. Ricky gained a level up while I was taking out another one. Doesn't look like any new arts or skills or anything. And pretty much right where we were, I found it with some really cool equipment and a gold chest. We got everything that Nopon wanted. But before we go back, I say we go further. As you can see, our quest objective is right ahead of us. And uh, I'm trying to decide who I want to use with this. Uh, let's go with my tried and true trio. Tried true trio, I like that. Uh, too bad there's not, like, a T-word that could... Never, never mind. Uh, anyway. And hey, as soon as you get up here, you can see this area should have been called Magma Cave. All this lava is under the ground. It's magma. Get it right. Uh, this Notoferis can get really annoying in here. You might want to take it out if you are low, low enough leveled for it to actually attack you unprovoked. There are also all these nebula here. Uh, I'm just going to start the fight with... Conflagrant Raxiel. Okay. <laughs> A weird name. Uh, very convoluted, if I can say so. Uh, it'll approach you, or once you approach it, it'll actually move towards you, so you don't have to worry about going into the lava. And the weird thing is, is that those nebula, they are attracted to ether, you know, they're ether type enemies, of course. But they are so aggressive, like, they're gonna gang up on you so much in this fight. Um, if you're having trouble, you might want to try just getting rid of all your ether attacks and, oh, burn it up. Wow, uh, how fitting that we got burn it up in this room. That's kind of funny. Uh, got, why are you guys not attacking? Uh, 
Okay, uh, I don't think I... I didn't think I hit the come to me command, but maybe I did. Um, alright. I'm kind of proud I did that much damage by myself. Thanks, guys. Uh, Ricky. Let's go for Sneaky. And you, of course I want you to do a two-hit combo with a three-hit multiplier. And I don't get another attack. Wonderful. I was going to really try to rack up lots of damage. I go, ooh, thanks. Uh, Dunman drew the egg are really fast for that, considering how long I was fighting it by myself. I don't think I'll be getting over that before this fight is over, just saying. Uh, Dunban? Please? 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 Come on. Uh, okay, I'm probably not gonna get this before the end of the fight. At least we have this awesome music, though. It really fits the background. Oh, Vision! Thunderbolt 2! Uh, that looks more like a lava bolt, if you ask me. I mean, just like, it's like shooting lava out of its spines. How could you take that any other way? Um... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to stop this. It does paralyze, though, so I guess it does kind of have some connection to Thunder. Uh, let's just do the Monado Shield. I don't think we're going to be able to stop that otherwise now. We're not going to be able to beat it or daze at a time. All right, here it comes. However, actually, wait, no, I was not have been able to stop it in time. Okay, so it was a good thing that I used up my Monado Art on that. And Whoa! Oh, I thought things crashed there because of just how much stuff was on screen and then just stopped. Uh, let's, uh, let's run away. Because I don't want to deal with all these Nebula ganging up on me. I'd rather just run from the fight and come back when things have quieted down a bit. And wow, that happened quickly. So, that enemy dropped the Magma Rock. I also dropped the chest. Let's see what's in it. Not bad, Lexus Dragon Elixir, Amethyst Armor. Now, the main reason why I wanted to come back into this room was actually not because I wanted to get that chest that badly. Um, it's that you can actually swim in the lava. <laughs> You take some damage, yeah, but you don't, like, by any means die instantly. Uh, actually, wait, crap. Um, wait, 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 wait. Barely didn't make it back. Uh, sure, lie down in the lava. Great. And Dunman's just standing in there nonchalantly. He's so awesome that he just doesn't even get affected by it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think it's the most deaths I've had in a single video with two. Uh, let's go back to the Herrick Chapel, though, now that we have the Magma Rock. Go to this thick ice wall, and let's melt it. We have melted the ice covering the door. Let's head inside. The letters are worn and difficult to make out, but it's definitely the language of the High End here. They look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. Just walk inside. This place. Something up, Shulk? No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. I'm not sure, but... I thought I had it. I can't seem to recall. Are you all right? What? Must be tired. Don't worry. This is Osei Tower. Built by the High Entia to house and protect the Monado. The Ceremony of Seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean... So this is where the Monado was kept. My dad took it from here. Have you always been able to see the future? You told me you were from a long line of seers. Did you have the ability from birth? Once, I too came into contact with the Monado. <sighs> Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado. 
and a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here. Shulk, why do you think we can see the future? I hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings such as us can also be predicted. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean... the Monado? The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means... My visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mechonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Did you think it was just a myth? I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are... a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it. Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi! I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. gonna get answers from Alvis, it's like he only becomes more mysterious. Before we go on, I want to head back into the chapel because, first off, how the heck did seven people sleep in this thing? Look at that, it's tiny. But more importantly, there is a heart-to-heart -heart icon, and wouldn't you know it, we have the ability to view it in Ase Tower. Dun dun, Ricky not like here. Ricky go brrrr, inside and outside. Yes, it's bitterly cold. No, Dunda not right. Ricky means something different. Well, what then? Tell me. Ricky's instinct tell him? Ghosts are here. Ghosts come out and frighten Ricky here upon Kapow you away! Who exactly are you ranting on at, Ricky? Dundun! Dundun must leave now, not safe here. I do sense something strange in the air. It's not right somehow. Maybe you are on to something. Dun Dun know what ghost is? I'm going to tell you a story, Ricky, but first a question. Do you know anything about the Monado Expedition Team? Alvis tell Ricky some information. Shulk was one of team members. Ricky was very surprised. That's right. Fourteen years ago, the team set out to try and find the Monado. They found it here in these ruins, but only one of them came home. That was Shulk. Shulk's daddy pun and mummy pun not come home? No, they did not make it back. Perhaps the Monado rejected them, 
Or perhaps... When Ricky come here, Ricky feel different. Ricky sometimes hear a voice worried about Shulk. Is that so? You've got an instinct for this. I didn't hear a thing. Here is special place to Shulk. Ricky remember that and not Kapow Ghosts. I find that a really interesting heart to heart. And if you view it right after that cutscene with Dunban just having that look on his face, I just, I don't know. I always find this to be the perfect time to view it. And it's really nice that we could see that in our first time here because it's not always the case. Suddenly falling from the sky with that heart to heart finish. There is but one thing that I want to take care of even still. And wow, this really takes a long time to go down. Um, I want to go back to go see the freezing Nopon. That's just his name as far as I'm concerned because he's just a generic Nopon researcher and that's the name of his quests. And yeah, it's kind of odd how generic NPCs here don't really seem to have generic quests, but let's go talk to him. Switched around the party a little bit and just because we have the food in our possession, he instantly stands up. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Apparently he was faking it. So now I fill up, I start getting warm. Ouch! It's too hot! And they're just complaining at this point. Just finding reasons to complain, aren't you? Glad everything worked out. We did good job. Let's dance, no, dance, nop on dance. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Shulk. I wonder what a nop on dance would go like. So he's going back to taking the information that he found, and with him presumably running away, we have completed the freezing nop on. With that done, though, I kind of want to go down there and see him because he will actually be down there with the rest of the nop on researchers, and I could skip travel down there, but screw that. I want to ride the really fun slide. Been a long time since I've done this though, but here I go, down the slope! I could not resist that, and whoa! Um, what a time to get a vision! <laughs> um, if I fall, this is totally the Minato's fall. No questions. <laughs> I fell! Okay, if I get hypothermia, this is totally the Minato's fault. Back at the Nopon camp, that researcher that we helped out is indeed here. He says the great power lies in the building up ahead. We already went to the tower, though, so not really that big of a help. But if we talk to him again, but it worth going to take a look. Its design is really amazing. I agree, albeit a bit small for seven people to sleep in it. Do you know how to get to Sword Valley? Sealed towers in the middle of Valak Mountain. Go in that direction and head straight down. So we have a bit of a direction there. And, ooh. But with that, we've done a lot of things. We helped the frozen Nopon, we went into the lava cave that really should have been called the Magma Cave, we got the Magma Rock, and we entered Asse Tower. And next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to start heading down Valak Mountain to reach Sword Valley. See you guys then.
Thank <laughs> you.